You know where we are? We're in Beverly Hills, 90210, at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Roxbury Drive. This is the real Beverly Hills, and I'm going to take you to a bunch of stars' homes, and they all live on this street, Roxbury Drive, one of the best streets in all of Beverly Hills. Okay, our first house today is Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball used to live here. Do you know who Lucille Ball is? Did you used to watch I Love Lucy? That's Lucille Ball. Um, when she was popular, uh, everybody watched her show on television. We all got together and sat in front of the television and watched Lucille Ball. She was very, very funny. This house also used to be gorgeous. What happened is that this is LA. They tear houses down. Nobody leaves a house that was beautiful before. They tear it down. So the story goes that uh, Lucille Ball's daughter, her name was Lucy. Um, Lucy heard that her mother's house was going to be torn down. She went to the to the the site here, and all they had left was the door knocker. So they gave. So Lucy has only thing that she has left is the door knocker from her house. Um, there were very funny uh, stories about Lucille Ball. One of the episodes was where she was um, crushing grapes and she was lifting her, her dress up and crush, crushing grapes and walking around in bare feet. And my mother remembers doing that in Russia, which is really amazing. Yeah. And Lucille Ball has one of the funniest episodes with her trying to keep track of all the candies that were coming out and stuffing her mouth with, with um, uh, chocolate candy. So maybe try and get it on YouTube. But this is where Lucille Ball used to live. The house was really prettier before. I don't know who's living here now, but this is where Lucille Ball used to live. You know, I had the perfect quote from Joan Didion about Los Angeles. She said, the future always looks good in the Golden Land because no one remembers the past. They tear the past down. So this is an example of it. This used to be the home of Jimmy Stewart. Do you remember him? He was that wonderful actor in um, A Wonderful Life, Strategic Air Command, um, uh, Harvey. He was a, a, just a wonderful actor, very handsome also. This used to be a beautiful English Tudor house. You know, there are a lot of um, buses that used to come up and down Roxbury Drive because everybody wanted to see the stars' homes. So they had these huge buses, they'd let people out, and people would bring picnics, and they'd, they'd settle down on the grass, all of these people, and the only way that Jimmy Stewart could get them to leave, he turned the sprinklers on. And in fact, he told Lucille Ball, who lives right across the street, she said, what do I do with all these people? And he said, just quietly, just turn the sprinklers on, nobody will know. At the same time, he used to, they, both Lucy and, um, 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 I've forgotten his name. Anyway, he used to keep um, photographs of himself and he'd sign them if he was in a good mood. Um, another important thing about this house is that my brother-in-law's father produced It's a Wonderful Life. My brother-in-law's father was one of the biggest producers, most powerful producers in all of Hollywood during that golden age. He, um, he was with RKO, Paramount and Columbia and produced a number of movies. And when um, I first met my brother-in-law, I was invited to his mother's house for dinner and you'd sit next to stars. Things were done so beautifully. Everything was so elegant. Um, his mother's name was Sarah and Sarah was the most elegant woman. She always dressed impeccably, not fancy, but she'd always have a skirt on and a beautiful sweater or a blouse. She had a wonderful woman who helped her whose name was Mayetta. And in fact, I'm going to make you Mayetta sponge cake. My mother, who was a sponge cake maker, said that she even thought that Mayetta's was better than hers. And that was saying something. So I'll teach you how to make that. This was part of Hollywood's golden age on this street. All of these stars lived one next to the other. Nobody locked their doors because, you know, you didn't have to worry about anything. Um, and everybody was friends and buddies with everybody next to them. 
Oh, I forgot to mention, when I was a little girl, my father used to take a pickup truck home from the factory and he'd invite all the neighborhood kids and he'd drive us through Beverly Hills so we could see all the, the Christmas decorations because they were beautiful in those days. And it was such a treat to sit in the back of a pickup truck with your buddies and look at Christmas decorations. It was a thing that we looked forward to every year. One of the things that's so great about Roxbury Drive is the size of the lots. They are huge. So they're bigger than most of the lots in Beverly Hills. Uh, I don't know who lives here. There's nothing written about it. All I know is that this house has been gorgeous for, for all of the years that I can remember. So it's never been torn down. I don't know who lives here. Whoever does has exquisite taste. I love it. By the way, do you hear that noise? That's a gardener. And I think I chose gardening day in Beverly Hills to record this. Okay, I'm sitting right in front of Jack Benny's house, um, which is right next door to Lucille Ball's house, which again is on Roxbury Drive. Um, do you remember Jack Benny? I do, but then again, I'm so old I would. Jack Benny was so fam famous. He was on radio, television. He was a hysterical comic. Um, he was renowned for being a miser, for playing the violin so badly, and for also only being 39 years old. He's old, if you ask him, he's 39 years old. And there's the funny story that went around that said he was going to be, he was being held up by, you know, somebody was holding him up and said, your money or your life. And he said, hmm, I have to think about that. Um, which when Jack Benny did, it was very funny. Anyway, my husband dated his daughter, Joan, um, and they used to, Jack and his wife, Mary, used to have the most fabulous uh, New Year's Eve parties. And people like Clark Gable, David Selznick, Tyrone Power, all the biggest names used to go to Jack and Mary Benny's um, New Year's Eve party. Okay, so now we're at Peter Falk's house. Do you remember him? He was Columbo. So Columbo lived here, Peter Falk lived here, right next door to Jack Benny, who lived next door to Lucille Ball, who lived across the street from Jimmy Stewart. I mean, do you call that a royal flush? Something like that? This is a perfect example of what happens when they tear down a beautiful, probably Spanish colonial home and build, I don't know, does it look like an art museum? They now have rules. Beverly Hills put together some rules so that they can't take down history. You won't believe the roster of stars that have lived in this house. You can tell because they have a guardhouse. Have you ever seen a guardhouse as tiny as that? I don't know what it's gonna protect people from. Maybe a dog, but I don't know who. Okay, so who lived here? Do you remember who Betty Grable was? She was the star in World War II. Remember you could see her from behind she kind of would look over her shoulder and she was blonde and everybody adored Betty Grable. She was married to Harry James, the trumpeter. And so they lived here, I guess, first. And then, let's see, who lived here afterwards? Then you had um, Diane Keaton lived here and completely redid it. And would you believe Madonna? And wait for it, wait for it. The Beckhams lived here. Do you believe that? Guys, do you see how ugly this is? This used to be a beautiful Spanish colonial and George and Ira Gershwin used to live here. Do you remember George Gershwin? He wrote Rhapsody in Blue, An American in Paris, um, Porgy and Bess, the most brilliant, brilliant um, men. Um, George Gershwin died at age 38, incredibly sad. Who lived here afterwards? Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary Clooney was mar married to Jose Ferrer, Ferrer. And who used to work for Rosemary Clooney? George Clooney. That's right. So Rosemary Clooney lived here for many, many years. It did not look like this. I'm sorry that I even have to show you the way this looks. But I just wanted to show you what Roxbury Drive, the, the infamy? No. How famous Roxbury Drive was. That's it from Beverly Hills 90210.